We're hanging out at the St. John Ambulance Training Center. Right now I'm joined by Patty and Patty is the lady who knows everything that's happening here at the Training Center. <laughs> Patty, let's first of all talk about what is the St. John Ambulance Training Center? Well, here at the St. John Ambulance Training Center, we train Canadians to save lives at work, home and play. Excellent. Uh, we train kids from 10 to 13 in our Home Alone program. So that mm. teaches them how to be home alone even before or after school for that little, little bit of time. Yeah, Babysitting classes for kids that are 10 to 13, 14 okay. years old, so how to babysit. Uh, we have occupational health and safety standard first aid, CPR, A, B, and C courses. Yes. And uh, that's an important one yes. for in the workplace. As well, we have a pet first aid class, so we're quite excited that. to have that one <laughs> offered to the public. So how to treat our animals uh, with uh, first aid treatment, CPR, before they head off to the vet. So we can yeah. help to save their lives before they get to the vet. That's excellent. So mm -hmm. absolutely everything yes. you can learn here, which is so great to hear. Now, as I mentioned, Ian, who's going to be joining us later in the show again to show us so many important things that need to go into a car during the winter season, is going to show us a CPR demonstration. Okay, Ian, take it away. First of all, I want to make sure that they're not just sleeping, so we want to do a response to the checks. Okay. We're going to tap those shoulders and call into both ears. Hey, ma'am, can you hear me? Are you okay? No response. I now know for sure we have an unresponsive casualty that's always considered a medical emergency no matter why they're down so that's my next thing I want to get a 911 yes. call on the go okay. now I want to remember my ABC's airway breathing circulation so first of all I'm going to see is she breathing so I'm going to bend over my cheek over the mouth looking down the chest and for a warm room like this five seconds if you're outside today we want to do 10 seconds so okay. 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 now, I found she's not breathing, so my next step, I want to help her breathe. So with that head tilt, I'm going to pinch the nose, pull down the chin a wee bit, and give her two good breaths. Mm. As soon as I deliver the breath, I want to let go of the nose, sneak a peek at the chest, watch for movement. As long as it's rising, I know air's got in. Second breath. Okay. And now ABC, circulation. I want to look for signs of life, which can be a, both a pulse check, if you know how to look for a carotid pulse. We found no signs of life. Now I want to start my CPR. And CPR begins with 30 chest compressions. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to center the heel of my hand on the chest, okay. cover with my lower hand, and straighten out my arms, straighten out my shoulders, and then I want to do 30 chest compressions at 100 beats a minute. Mm -hmm. One and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and ten and one and two, four and fifteen, one and two and three and four and twenty, one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and one. Wow. So there, there's my counter at the end, two breaths. And I want to do that four more times, so for five sets of 30 and two, okay. the rate is 100 beats a minute, which also happens to be staying alive. Oh. Those of us who live through the disco <laughs> era know that disco saves lives. So That's there right. you go, there's some CPR. <laughs> That's awesome. And before we wrap up, I just have a question. How hard do you press? I find that's where I would be scared to press too hard on someone. We want to go down about two inches or five centimeters, so it is a significant amount. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be afraid of that because if we're going down just a little bit, we're not doing them any good. Absolutely. All right. Well, Ian's showing us a little bit about CPR because November is CPR month. Of course, it's useful any time of year, so these are always important things to know. And Ian's actually going to be joining us throughout the rest of the show. He's going to show us important things that we need to have in our uh, vehicle during the winter season. So looking forward to that. Great.